In today's session, we'll discuss on addition theorem on sets. Addition theorem on sets. Addition theorem on sets. When I say addition theorem on sets, we are going to discuss on the operations on sets like union and intersection. And also, we'll be discussing the additions, that is, the arithmetic operations, plus and minus, with respect to the cardinal number n, with respect to the cardinal number n. When I say sets, I'm going to discuss this theorem on two sets first. Two sets first. Rent set which you discuss for Two sets. Let me take set A and set B. Let me have A union B, A union B, and the cardinal number of that, N of A union B. A, I have, I have B, when I say A union B, which means union stands for or, A landanasari, B landanasari, rent me nama consider pananu. Apo, I'll be taking the whole of A, and also the whole of B. Right? Whole of A and also the whole of B. For example, let me have A as A, B and C and B as C, D and E. When I write A union B, I find that A comes, B comes, C comes and with respect to B, C is already there. I will not be repeating C both the times. Only one part you are going and E and D. So A, B, C, D and E. So if I check here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So N of A union B is equal to 5. So let me write it here, 5. N of A here, the number of elements in A is 3. So 3. N of B is also 3 here, so plus 3. And if I check the count, this side is 5 and this side is 6. It doesn't match us. Why this doesn't match us is because when I take whole of A and whole of B, I find that C is repeated twice. C is repeated twice. But when I write in A union B, C is not repeated. Only once is enough. Distinct elements. Okay. So only once is enough. So another repeat repeat The reason is it is present both in A and B. When it is present both in A and B, we say this as A intersection B. We say this as A intersection B, which is the singleton C. Because of this common element between A and B, we are not repeating again and again here. So I have to reduce this element, which is N of A intersection B, that is 1. So I have to reduce it N of A intersection B, which is 1. So if I match 6 minus 1 is 5. Yes, it's tallies. Right? This is with respect to two sets. The same going to be appearing for three sets also. So let me have a discussion on three sets. So with respect to three sets, and I have A, B, and C as the three sets. A, B, and C as the three sets. So N of A union B union C, which will be equal to the similar way. I'll be taking whole of A. I'll be taking the whole of B and also I'll be taking the whole of C. Okay. When I was discussing here, when I take A and B, it seems like C is common. Apo C idilium present arc, C idilium present arc. When I take A union B, I'm not repeating two times. I'm repeating only one time. That is, I'm taking only one C, not both the C's. Adanala, or C and I'm remove pannu. That's what N of A intersection. B. So C appears in A union B. C appears in A union B, right? So I have A, I have A, I have B, and I have C. When I take A and B, there will be some elements common to both A and B. So A intersection B la the elements common are remove B intersection C la common In turn I have to remove that. 
A intersection C la common are common, so I in turn I have to remove that. So let's check what happens. So let me have A, which is A, B, C, the same I'll take. I'll take B, the same, I'm, I'm taking the same. C, D, E, and another C, which is C, D, and F. So I'm just taking three sets, A, B, C. A is A, B, C, B is C, D, E, and C is C, D, F. When I say N of A, that is a whole of A, I'm taking three, so this is three. When I take the whole of B, N of B is again three, so it's again three. When I take N of C, it's again three, so it's again three, let me write it out. The same pattern, how we did here, that is removing the common elements when it happens for two sets. So I'm going to take in pass. So when I go with respect to A and B, which is A intersection B, happens C to be common. Okay, A intersection B, C is common. So let me have this element C here. Okay. And when I go for B intersection C, I find C and D are common. So here B and C la already have written C. So C is here and uh, D is also here. With respect to C, I have C and D. I'm just writing only the common elements. When I go with respect to A intersection C or C intersection A, A, B, C and C, D, F. So only C is common. So let me have already have C here and already have C here. When I go for A Union B, Union C, because I want to have A Union B, Union C, let me have A Union B, Union C here, which is A, B, C, D, E, up to F. So when I write the cardinal number of this set, A Union B, Union C, this happens to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this happens to be 6 here, right? This happens to be 6 here. When I go with N of A intersection B, so I have to write N of A intersection B minus N of B intersection C minus N of A intersection C. So I need to have all the three. So when I have N of A intersection B, it's one. So minus one. N of B intersection C, it's two. So minus two. And N of A intersection C, there is only one element common. So this is equal to one, so minus one, right? And if you check A union B union C la, in the seeing the element A li orka, B li orka, C li orka, it appears in all the three sets, which means there's a common element in all the three sets. And if you check here in A union B union C, there exists only one C. Okay, there exists only one C and only one C, okay? So when I check with the values here, here it is six, here it is three plus three plus three, so this is 9 minus 4, which happens to be 5. This side is 6 and this side is 5. So it doesn't match this. The reason why it doesn't match this is, please have a look. When I take minus n of a intersection b, which means that this c should not appear twice, so I'm removing once. So when I remove this once, I'm removing this c in vertical. So in the b or the c, when I go with B intersection C, which is C and D are common, I'm removing, it's two times appearing, so I have to remove. So let me remove the C and this D with respect to B intersection C. With respect to B intersection C, I'm removing C and D. Again, with respect to A intersection C, I have one C. So I have one C here. With respect to A intersection C, I have one C here, I'm removing. But in a path, you know, A intersection B, I have removed one C. B intersection C or they have removed another C. A intersection C or they have removed another C. So you check C appear aga the mother irkula. Anna A union B union C la C irke. Okay. So this is why this plus one is not tallying with us. The reason for this plus one is because when we subtract all these, we are removing all the common elements. So I have to add back. This add back is nothing but plus n of a intersection b intersection c plus n of a intersection b intersection c so plus one so now it will get tallied so i have plus one 
which is 6. So 6 is equal to 6. This is theorem, addition theorem on 6 with respect to 3, A, B and C. This is with respect to 2, A and B. If you understand the logic behind, A inga vandu nama minus n of A intersection B pandro, A in the vandu pair para adutthu subtract pannitu, that is will reduce and we then add back this common element A intersection B intersection C the nama adukuro ongurudhu nama check pani paakunu. So this has to be taken logically. Most of the cases it nama formula memorize pandro, logically think pannitu, this will be helpful for your problems, right?